Hey, my lovely Cancers. Welcome back. I hope you had a good Valentine's. I hope you're good and had a good week. And let's just, let's just get this on popping. Let's see what's going on with um Cancer. Remember, it could resonate to you, Cancer. I could be talking to you. I could be talking to a cross-watcher. Or I could be talking to a third party, okay? So, what is the overall energy between Cancer and their person, please? So whatever you've been praying for or whatever you've been manifesting, Cancer, is coming to the light or is going to come to light. Okay? I feel like you've been trying so hard to bring happiness to you and it's going to come in. I see light coming in. Okay? Faith. Have faith. Have faith. I believe you do have faith. Because a lot of light is coming your way. Whatever you've been manifesting, a person, a thing, a place, whatever it is, is coming your way. Okay? You could be dealing with a Taurus, and you could also be dealing with a Virgo, okay? Yeah, I'm saying science today, people. I, I am. Hold up. What is this? My grands are my grandkids are going a while today. Okay, so what is the overall energy? What else? Okay, here we go. Page of Swords. Something's coming in really fast. Okay, for you, Cancer. I feel like somebody's been watching you and manifesting you as well. Hold on. What else for um cancer, please? And the person in love. Let's just say how it is in love. What else for cancer, please? I feel like a lot of you cancers have given up on love, is what I'm hearing. Don't give up. Don't give up on love because it's coming your way. I feel it. I see it. Okay, you've been praying a lot to have somebody in your life, a soulmate, somebody that you want to spend the rest of your life with. They're clearly telling me, don't give up. Don't give up yet, it's coming. Don't give up at all. What else for cancer, please? You see, you've been going through something and I feel like The way I'm seeing, the way they're telling me is like, you've been through a lot, okay? And you just want love in your life. This is Libra energy with the three of swords. That's Libra energy. I feel like you've been through so much in your life that you just want to settle down already and be with somebody and get married and just... Spend the rest of your life with somebody. That's what I'm feeling right here. What else for cancer, please? And it's going to happen. I'm sorry. It's going to happen. Whether you believe it or not, it's coming. Because I feel like you guys, some of you cancers, not everybody is very specific. Don't believe it's coming. It is coming. What else for cancer, please? What else for cancer, please? You have a lot of light cancer around you. A lot of positive energies around you. And when I say energies, a lot of spiritual energies around you. You're holding 
your happiness in your hands, okay? This person that's coming towards you is happiness. There's somebody coming towards you with an offer. And they're full of light. They're full of abundance. They're full of... They're full of magic is what I'm feeling. Like, this is going to be what you want. Okay, the way that I'm reading this magician card is ridiculously the way they're telling me to read it. Okay? You are manifesting something for so long that it's going to come true. It's coming in. With a lot of positive things, Cancer. What else for Cancer, please? I don't know. I feel like some of y'all, this person that's coming in, it's going to have like some deep brown eyes is what I'm picking up. I may be wrong, but that's what I'm putting in. Leo energy. Strength. You've been gaining your strength, Cancer. You've been working on your strength and your inner strength. You've been working on, on a lot of things for yourself. Confidence, you're gaining confidence, you're gaining inner strength, and you're enjoying the power because you feel it. You're believing in yourself, Cancer. You're believing in yourself. So whatever is coming in that's making you um, doubt, listen to your intuition because you're believing in yourself. You're finally believing in yourself because a lot of you were not believing in yourselves, okay? What else for cancer, please? And I'm not talking about believing in yourself. I'm talking about believing in love. Like, believing you could, you can't get love. You can't find anybody. Like, it's not going to happen for you. You're going to be alone. Somebody is coming. Look. Somebody is coming towards you. They've been manifesting you as well. That's Taurus energy. It could. They've been manifesting you as well. This person has deep brown eyes. Look at this. Deep, I don't know if you can see it. Deep brown eyes. This camera is so blurry today. I feel like somebody with deep brown eyes or you got deep brown eyes. For some reason that they're showing you that. It could be, it could be a confirmation of something. I don't know. But yes, honey. Love is coming in. They've been watching you too. They've been manifesting you. Cancer. My mother was a cancer. May she rest in peace. I don't know why I said that. Maybe she's around. I never bring them to the readings. You see, you were blindfolded. You were blindfolded in the past, Cancer. That blindfold is coming off. Believe in yourself like you are believing in yourself. That blindfold is coming off and you are ready. You are ready. This is Libra energy. You're ready. Okay? Those swords that you had around you, leave them behind. Okay? That energy that you had of not believing love could come in, throw it all away. Because it is coming in. Or it already happened. Okay? Don't let nothing stop you from believing in yourself. Okay? Because sometimes it triggers you. Don't let it trigger you. You are believing in yourself. You're feeling confident. You're feeling sexy. You're feeling handsome. You're feeling like things are coming in. Let it happen. Don't block it. Okay? Because sometimes you block it. Okay, the mind is very powerful, and sometimes you block it, Cancer. What else for Cancer, please? What else for Cancer, please? Okay. The Knight of Coins. It could be moving in pretty, pretty fast. 
or it already came in. But they're coming. They're coming. Or they're already in there. Okay. My God. You can be dealing with Aries. You can be dealing with a Taurus. I see ta a lot of Taurus here. Cancer. Do not let whatever is coming in let you pass by. I see that you're holy. I see that you go in sometimes and think. Even though you're believing in yourself, believing in love again, believing that things are going to happen, manifesting stuff, having strength, and you're holding a, a, like a lot of light within you, but sometimes you go into your own space and you doubt yourself. Don't do that no more. You are believing in yourself. Keep that. Live it. Breathe it. Everything around you. Okay? Breathe it in and live it. Make it happen, okay? Because it's coming in. Or it's already here. Okay? What does this person want to tell Cancer, please? What is this person thinking or want to tell Cancer, please? priestess they're manifesting you they're praying cancer for you to accept them their confidence they know what they want they're confident they're confident. They know what they want. Okay? They're confident. They know what they want. They want you, Cancer. Don't let it slip away. You've been manifesting this for a very long time, I feel. You've been wanting love for a very long time. A real love. What else does this person want to tell Cancer, please? This person is going to take your blindfold off. The Knight of Cups. They're rushing in to give you those cups. It might move a little bit slow. The process of when you're together. But they're going to show you real love. They're going to show you real love. Because you've been praying for this for a long time. And this is not for every cancer. This is for a few cancers. Or maybe all of you that read this. I mean, they hear this. I don't know. What does the spirit want to tell cancer, please? What are the messages for cancer, please? So it says... Be practical. Wish respect to how you proceed. The ability to make anything more beautiful. Meeting someone who can help your dreams come true. What the fuck? I cannot make this up. Your dreams are coming true, Cancer. Like, I cannot make this up. Okay? Wow. It says... Take steps to ensure the financial security of your children or other loved ones. Making wish investment. Make, my, my bad. Making wise investments or planning for retirement. Honoring family traditions. So if you're retired or planning to be retired, you know, honor the family traditions. This is what Spirit is telling you. Let me give you um, some oracle cards. My son is fighting with the Xbox. I don't know if y'all hear him, but he's going at it. 
in that game. I don't know why they take so many hours in that Xbox. Okay, so these two wanted to come out. Let's see what it says. Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. For it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. Do you see this? Come on, Cancer. Like, wow. It says power. You in instinctively know what is right for you. And you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. So you know what's right and wrong. You know this is right. You have the power to say no. But that's because that little headspace that comes in sometimes, that little um thought. But you know what's right and wrong. You got the power. I hope this helps some cancers. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you later, my loves.